We want to welcome everybody today to Mom and Dad Talks, where our favorite people are Mom and Dad, and we also have Hanty, and we have a plethora of special guests today, everyone. And um, in fact, we have a harpist available today, and I'm just really excited about this. She's going to play a special song for us here. I hope you guys do really, really pay attention to it, and we're going to have a fun talk today, a fun discussion that I hope inspires and changes everybody's lives here. So... At this time, can you please tell me a little bit about yourself before we get ready to hear some a selection? Um, oh, well, I'm Esther Jones. Um, I live in Niles, Michigan, and I'd always wanted to learn to play the harp. So at 55 was the opportunity. So I started to learn at 55. Um, there's, um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy i've gotten to know a lot of, of new people through this experience and love to bring um love to pull strings for people there you go and i enjoy it um <laughs> but sometimes um i get really pretty nervous with it but i i hope and pray i can make the song uh, come out well today so all right well we're just excited I, I've been about this <laughs> we're just excited to have you can you can you play a selection for us real quick okay so this is to a wild rose Myrna used to play this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much. That's so beautiful. I love that instrument, the harp. So, uh -huh. you know, not only is it incredible that you learned to play the harp at, at your age at 55, um, but there's also something else that's special that happened to you that, that, that you had to overcome in order to play. Can you talk a little bit about that? I uh, mean, about my friend Parkinson's? Yes, your friend. Oh, yeah. Parky and I go back a ways. Um, yeah, uh, I guess about five years ago, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's. And um, I'm also now a boxer. So um, boxing and Parkinson's mm -hmm. kind of go ahead and that. If you want to really beat up, you know, to keep Parkinson. ahead of the game, you have to like learn boxing. So sometimes he has the gloves on and sometimes I don't. So. But it's a good exercise and it's really intense. And the more intense exercise you do with Parkinson's, the better you are to like, um, delay the symptoms some. so I also had something recently happened too is I have a pinched nerve and I affects my left side and so my fourth finger on my left hand is just now gotten back to playing 
Um, a few weeks ago, I couldn't even get it to work. I mean, it couldn't work, but now it's working. <laughs> so, praise God. Um, finger number four is working over there. So, he's got, he's got all the heavy notes, you know? You got to get the fourth finger on, that, on the low notes or you don't get it. So, okay. Beautiful. I mean, that's just amazing. And you have a wonderful and amazing story here. I mean, that you have so much to overcome and you play so beautiful and you learn. I mean, it just seems like you just beat the odds over and over again. And I'm just amazed by it. I mean, oh, yes, but yes. God is so good. And, yes. you know, I've had so many wonderful mm -hmm. opportunities. And the fun thing about a harp is really learning kind of what it's about. Um, the C's are all red and the F's are all black. Okay, so you know where to put your hands. It's kind of like a piano. Um, this has lovers. So if I want to, like, I'll make, uh, you know, make a, um, a F sharp. I have to, I put the lever up. So all this, all the levers, of course, are out, you know, are in the same order. Um, my other harp at home, um, we call that Margie Lee, because she's, a, she's um, named after my mom. She was mm. born, made the same year my mom was born in 1922. So she's an old girl and she's got a really old soundboard. So she's a wonderful. Um, she's a lever harp or pedal harp. Mm. So a pedal harp is really fun too, but you can make a pentatonic scale really well in a love and pedal harp, which would be the five tones instead of the seven. Mm. Um, so um, that's where you get your really beautiful gosandos. Mm. I mean, because this, mm. this is not as pretty as a pentatonic scale, for example. Mm. Yeah. So pentatonic gets rid of the four and the seven, for example. Yeah. The four and seven of a scale are not as harmonic as the others. Yeah, you, you think of your story hour yeah. when you hear the harp. Yes. Um, yeah. That's a pentatonic scale. Yeah, it's a pentatonic scale. Mm -hmm. so oh. It's been a lot of fun. And of course, I can't um, not forget my husband, who's my harp horse. So, yeah. Um, this he, is Charlie. Yes, this is my husband, Charlie. He brought this upstairs today. Um, this is um, here, and this is about 22 pounds. So, mm. one other time when your mom had a Christmas party, um, he helped to bring up well, a larger harp that was 62 pounds, I think. Wow. Yeah, that was a little more complicated. Yeah, so. Oh man, that's amazing, and it's just it's so beautiful to see you all work together, and and you do, and like I said, like I said, the harp is one of my favorite instruments. It's just so, so elegant, so beautiful, and it just kind of sets you in a different tone and everything like that. And like I said, you know, I mean, just you play so beautiful, overcome so much and stuff like that. I mean, I'm just amazed, totally amazed like that. I mean, you know, it, 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 the harp is one of my favorite instruments. You know, hand to your, is it one of your favorite instruments too? Absolutely. I wanted to do it for so long and never thought I would really have, I thought I'd have to wait till heaven, you know, but then mm -hmm. I got this opportunity. Um, I found the teacher here. and yeah. then I found the teacher and she says, He's, you can do this. That's good. I said, well, I don't know how I can do this. But it worked out beautifully. She actually has moved away to another state, but we have lessons regularly oh. over um, the phone. Mm. So she just comes in, visits. Oh. I set the phone on the couch, on the cushion, and mm. she sits there and she does her. And she's in Minnesota and I'm in mm. Michigan. And mm. we just have lessons. It's awesome. So. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Totally amazing. You still have lessons here. I mean, oh, yeah. There's that, always more to learn. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. And, and, and like I said, it, it, it's 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 just so interesting here. And and like I said, just to still have lessons as to be able to pull it off in this pandemic. Uh, I mean, okay. it's just amazing. Just a plethora of just fascinating facts here, I tell you. Um, so you know, like I said, I don't want to yes, Hanty, what you gonna say? I I I don't know where it came from. I was a young, young girl when I saw an angel playing a harp mm. so when when esther comes with comes with her harp that's what it reminds me of and and she's she's falling right in the tracks oh nothing yeah. has i'm not derailed in any way <laughs> <laughs> yes it's such, such such beautiful there we have I'm, another guest with my sister lenise abel she's mm -hmm. had she had dinner with esther and charlie and, uh, yeah. with us today uh -huh. Welcome aboard, Lenise. Uh -huh. Yes, welcome aboard. Welcome Thank aboard, Lenise. You have anything to say, Lenise, here before we get ready to go? Uh, I'm just the audience. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, but I tell you, a great audience there. Dad, you have any other yeah. things you want to say here before we get ready to go? Words of wisdom, right here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's such a blessing to have heart music and to listen to heart music, it, there's a certain ring to it that's different from all other sure instruments. Is. And I can see why uh, the angels are depicted as playing harps in heaven. 
mm-hmm. and they're tuneful. They're always staying in tune. Yeah. And it's not like this one that goes out to. <laughs> but we would know that. <laughs> yes. yes. And uh, mm-hmm. it's really a blessing. Really yeah. a blessing. The Sabbath is a blessing day, a blessed day. Yes. Well, I, I think that's a fantastic thing. And like I said, um, I enjoy the heart. Uh, can you place a couple more tunes before we get ready to go there? I'll see if I can come up with something. Mm-hmm. father's world. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you so much today. And uh, you're such an inspiration. And oh, I love harps music. Oh, I love the harp. We had a harpist on today. And thank you for sharing your story. And thank you for having the, everybody on today. So I hope you enjoyed Mom and Dad Talks. Until next time. See you next time. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye.